question tells us that there are eight regular octagons and all of their side lengths are x, so they're congruent regular octagons, and we want to find the area of the star shape that is made by putting them together here in the middle of the diagram. First thing we're going to do, although it looks like it's obvious, is to check that these are actually right angles as they look like they are in the diagram, but important to check that. So for the octagon, the exterior angle is 360 divided by 8, the exterior angle formula for polygons always 360 divided by the number of sides, and that gives us 45 degrees, and then the interior angle of the octagon is 180 minus 45, which is 135 degrees, so this is 45 and this is 135, and that's true for all of the angles in the octagon, so in particular these ones are 135 each, and then this one is a right angle, because if I do 360 minus 135 minus 135, that gives me a 360 minus 270, which is 90 degrees, so we really do have right angles here. That means that we can split the area we're looking for into this square here and four right angle triangles. If I can work out those areas, we can add them together to get the total area. So let's focus on these small right angle triangles. Because the side lengths of the octagon are x, then it's an isosceles right angle triangle with both of these sides equal to x. And so the area of these triangles are one half times x times x, a half base times height, so that's just one half x squared. But also, we know that it's a right angle triangle, so it obeys Pythagoras' theorem. So if I call this hypotenuse c, we must have that x squared plus x squared equals c squared, or otherwise c squared equals 2 uh, x squared. And that means that c is equal to the square root of 2 times x, taking the square root of both sides there. So now if we think about the side length of the square, well, we know that this is root 2 times x, and we also know that the other parts of this side length are sides of the octagon, so these are uh, just x each. So I've got the side length of the square is x plus x plus root 2x. You could write that as 2 plus root 2 times x. So the total area we're looking for is 2 plus root 2x all squared, because the area of a square is just the side length squared, and then four of those small triangles, which all had area a half x squared, so I've got four lots of a half x squared. So simplifying four times a half x squared just gives us 2x squared, and 2 plus root 2x all squared, I can write as 2 plus root 2 squared times x squared, just getting rid of those outside brackets there. Now we just need to be able to multiply out these brackets, so 2 plus root 2 squared is 2 plus root 2 times 2 plus root 2, so I've got 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times root 2 is 2 root 2, another 2 times root 2, and root 2 times root 2 is 2, so if I combine those together I get 4 plus 2 is 6, and the two 2 root 2's combine to give 4 root 2. So we can replace the 2 plus root 2 squared with 6 plus 4 root 2, and then I've got a 6x squared here, uh, so I can combine that with the 2x squared here to get 8x squared and write this as 8 plus 4 root 2x squared and then I can factorise out a 4 to get 4 times 2 plus root 2x squared for the final form of the answer. And they're putting these things in GCSE more and more often now. In fact, just look at this video I made last year with another geometry problem about circles that everyone was talking about at the same time last year.